Listen. Well, I don't know if the Holy Bible was put together by the white supremacists or not. Some, that's controversial. Some people say yes. Some people say no. I say I don't know. Okay. But I do know this. Whatever the white supremacists touch, they are not going to fool with it for five minutes unless they figure out a way in five minutes to put it to work for the system of white supremacy. They'll find something else to touch. So if a white supremacist puts his hand on a Bible, or her hand on a Bible, they are going to say, now, this Bible is already here, but I am going to use it to do the things that I want to do, and I'm going to make everybody else of color fall in line so that this Bible will support whatever it is that I want done. And I will even change the meaning of every passage of it without changing a word. I'll just say, that's not what that means. And the black preacher will say, that is what that means. It's right here in the Bible. But the white supremacists say, boy, what did I say it meant? It meant that yesterday. Why? Because I said that it meant that yesterday. But that's not what it means today, boy. Hey. Who is your master here on earth? Your master in your heart and in your head and in your church that I allow you to have is somebody else. But you call your God, and that's okay, I'll let you do that. But boy, when I walk in your church with or without a gun, you will, and you and your congregation, your choir, and everybody you got here, young and old, will and have obeyed me from day one. So don't get in my face waving a Bible, boy. Even when we come to look at the areas of activity, when it comes to religion, what? Black church. Yet, if you run across a white person, he'll say, Christian church. And then the black person say, oh yeah, well my church is Christian. You know, it wouldn't be a church. You know, I was raised up in the Christian church. You say, yeah, but people call it a black church. Well, you know, that's just an expression that we use. We who? We Christians? How come white people ain't packing in your church? You got thousands of them. Is there something inferior about your religion? They take come and take a look and say, oh, I can look at your religion and tell it's invalid. Therefore, I'm not coming to your church. It's a church. It's a Christian church. And I'm a white man, and I called it a Christian church. But when I came over there and took a look, I saw black people in that church, Christian church. And so, hey, that's a religion of another color. Oh, yes, that's a religion of another color. That has nothing to do with me. That's what that white person is saying. Otherwise, white people would go to any church that they saw on any corner when they moved in a town. And they would say, oh, it's a church down on the corner, so, you know. But somebody says, oh, but that's a black church. Oh, oh. Yeah, but it's Christian. Christian, Christian, Christian hell, you know. That's a black church. That's a different thing altogether. No, I ain't going down there. For what? They don't have nothing all for me. Well, they got the same Bible. I don't care what they got to say. They ain't got the same color I have. Got that? Are you crazy? And by now, they probably don't want me in there anyway. They'll think I shoot up the place. It could be. But I'll respond because uh, some people think that that is really significant. And mm -hmm. it may be significant. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's very significant, and I'll give Why my not? logical, compensatory, counter-racist, logical reason. Uh huh. The white supremacists sometimes themselves say, you know what? A lot of black people were here before we got here. We came out of caves. We came out of caves like, and they don't use this expression, but they kind of imply it like, it was five minutes ago. We just got here five minutes ago. You black people have been here on the planet for zillions of years. Mm -hmm. But boy, 
boy, look at us now. So what does that say about you? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And they got a point there. They got a point there. Mm-hmm. See, it's not like how long you have been here. It's what you do while you've been here. That's what counts. Any teacher in any classroom will tell you that. That's pure mathematical logic. A teacher will walk into a classroom and say, Willie, how long have you been in this school in the first grade? And Willie will say, I've been here in the first grade since I was six years old, and I'm 32 now. What does that say about Willie? And here comes little Johnny, and he spends 10 minutes in the first grade, and after 10 minutes, he's ready to graduate into postgraduate college. Why? Because that's what we're really saying. When black people start getting on that high horse and talking about how long they've been here. See, it's not how long you've been here. People can sit on a rock for millions of years. That doesn't count for anything. The earth is nothing but a big rock. With some foliage on it. Yes, and all of the generations that have come up since the beginning of white supremacy. Now, that doesn't say that black people weren't doing things that they shouldn't do before that system. But all of the people who are breathing now have come up under the system of white supremacy. So we don't know anything else other than what they teach us. We can't even claim that, you know, we know something that they don't know. See, that's how you measure that. What is it that black people know about that the white supremacists don't already know. I can't even name one thing, even though black people will say we have our schools and we have our own way of doing things and we got our style and all like that, and that we know all about how to, you know, cultivate hair, and we know all about, you know, this, that, and other that we do, and uh, this is a black thing. We even had an expression for it. This is a black thing. You wouldn't understand. It's nothing that the white supremacists don't understand about their slaves. That's why they're slaves. They have a better understanding of their slaves than the slaves have of themselves. That's why they're slaves. Because if they had a better understanding of how slavery worked and how white supremacy worked, they wouldn't be subject to white supremacy. That's the mathematical equation. If you are smarter than the people that dominate you, you are not going to be dominated. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's the mathematical equation. Now, a lot of people are very, very unsettled with that. A lot of black people say, oh, no, you can't, you can't go around saying that they're smart. Oh, oh, don't say that. Don't say that. That makes me feel bad. Well, regardless of how you feel about it, is it true? Now, some people have said they've seen some cartoons of my work uh, on the Internet that have been presented. And that uh, it, it pretty well embellishes what I have been trying to say in my textbooks. And uh, to the extent that it does that, well, that has been... From what I understand, some people reported to me a plus because they didn't understand what I had written very well. But when they saw those cartoons that just repeated what I was saying and attaching my name to it and uh, came right out of the book, the material did, uh, they say that they better understood it. And I can understand that because... People are kind of visual, particularly in the year 2021 now, uh, more visual than ever.